Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. We got a good one for you today. Jared Anderson, Martin Bacoli, and what should be a, a pretty good fight should be an entertaining heavyweight scrap. Two heavyweights who mix it up, who throw a good amount of punches. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, the Patreon gets you the up-to-date props. It gets you the lock of the week, which will make you money every single week. It gets you to book you anything. You can request a fight. You can request a video. I'll show you how to make money on every single fight. Just ask. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Let's get into today's show. Jared Anderson, his last fight was a total disaster. Riyad Mayher, is that, whatever, former cruiserweight champ. So a lot of people are down on him, and I feel these odds are way too close. Jared Anderson's clearly the classier guy here. He's clearly the class act. Nice quick jab, rangy, sneaky quick jab, right? Like he's, he's big and he sneaks it, and it, 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 it's quick. His jab is very, very quick. Good speed, good combination puncher. Nice, clean shot uh, from the outside. Excellent speed on him. Throws him straight, clean. He's very good from the outside. He's, he, he kind of fires off combinations like a middleweight. He seems to be 6'4", 250. He seems too big and bulky to be doing what he does, but he can do it. He keeps the jab out. He quick jab, keeps it pumping out, keeps it pumping out. Good mobility. Avoids shots really well. Really mobile, really flexible and agile for a guy of that size. I think Jared Anderson is the goods. I You can tell where I'm getting at this. Uh, straight up, he's strong as hell, strong as an ox. Like I said, for his size, he's got his man strength. This is 24. He's got good feet. He's he's hard to hit. He's hard to he's hard to hit clean he, for a heavyweight. He's not slow and cumbersome. He's not just in front of you taking shots. He's a lot to deal with. His speed, his combination, his good volume. Front foot guy comes at you, keeps punching, good accuracy, accuracy, good quick hands, really powerful, really strong combinations. It's just he's a pretty complete offensive fighter with, with good defensive mobility and athleticism. He really is, he will be a, a complete package. The question is, at this point, at just 24, is he a complete enough package to deal with Martin Bacoli? And I, before we get into Mark McCall, I just want to address Jared Anderson's last fight a little bit more and, and give a, a little more insight because – and I, I keep butchering this name. Jared Anderson, 17-0, 15 knockouts. Mark, uh, Rehad Mayhar, which is who he fought in his last fight, former cruiserweight champ. He lost every single round. So this is a world-class fighter who got absolutely dominated by Jared Anderson. So we're knocking him. We're saying it was a terrible performance. He outclassed a former world champion. Outclassed him. Not even close. Murray landed like the least amount of shots like ever recorded in a heavyweight fight. Or it's like in a 10-round heavyweight fight. It was just absolutely ridiculous. Um, he couldn't put a hand on Anderson. He couldn't open up. He wouldn't try. And we're faulting Anderson for a world-class fighter who wouldn't engage, who was only looking to survive, who survived. I mean, it just seems like a ridiculous thing to fault Anderson for. No, it was not Anderson's best performance, but no one was going to look good given that situation. Riyad Miar is a, a, a decent fighter who had, fought, who had fought Tony Yoka, and he beat Tony Yoka. And Tony Yoka is a guy who nearly beat Martin McCauley. You know, and I understand that the math, boxing math, doesn't work that way. But what I'm getting at is Anderson is another level for Martin Bacoli. Martin Bacoli is a big body, massive, massive size, mostly a jabber, li likes to be at range, good power, gets a little wild. He's just not as sharp and not as polished as Jared Anderson. 
He's not the athlete Jared Anderson is. He's a very poor, like a poor man's version of a Jared Anderson who's just a lot bigger. He's really, really big. 6'6". Six, six, we'll call him 275 plus. He's coming anywhere from 275 to 290. Not as skilled, not as finely tuned as Jared Anderson. A little bit slower, uh, but still a come forward bull of a guy. He throws a lot. He's got good volume. He's got real power. He fires off big, heavy shots constantly. Uh, you, what you will notice is as he gets later into the fight, he does tire and he slows down. He starts to throw wild arm punches. Not a ton on him. Throws a lot of sloppy arm punches, especially as he tires. His punch output drops. But he's a pretty good combination puncher. You know, he just starts to fade. And it, it makes sense for a guy that size. What I'm telling you is Bacoli is a good fighter. He's not a great fighter. He's not as good as Anderson. Anderson is a class above. This should be a fun, competitive fight. Bacoli is always going to have a puncher's chance, but I, I like Jared Anderson, I, and I actually think the odds are way too close. So I think this is a, a very good fight to bet on. Um, let's take a look at this. Let's see if all this. Jared Anderson on the money line. And again, if you want the props with us, they haven't. DraftKings has not dropped the prop shit on this. So you have to join the Patreon. Five dollars a month. Link is in the description. Join the Patreon. We'll break this down for you. We'll get you the props. But I like Jared Anderson. It's minus 195. I think this is much wider than a two to one fight. I think this should be like minus 350. I don't think Piccoli is at that level. I think Jared Anderson is just going to be too good, too finely tuned, too athletic, and he'll he'll probably stop him, but. Let's just take the money line bet here. Uh, one times bet here, hundred dollar bet. Going to make you fifty one twenty eight. Going to be about fifty two bucks. Not bad. Easy money. You can you can build your weekly parlay around this. You could also take it as a loan bet because the odds are not bad. I like Jared Anderson on the money. I think Jared Anderson is just a tier a tier head. I think Mark Bacoli is a poor man. Jared Anderson Bacoli does a lot of things that Jared Anderson does. Just Jared Anderson does them a lot better. Bacoli is just bigger. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all of the social media. Uh, it is July. It is now July 30th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.